Hey David, good morning. Morning, Dan. Um, just uh, what's Panarin's status tonight? Do you anticipate him playing? Do you expect him to play or no, no yet? Yeah, that was just a maintenance thing, so he'll be he'll be ready to go tonight. Next question comes from Mark Rosenman. Mark, go ahead. Hey, Coach, after the last game, you mentioned about the Devils and the Sabres and that, you know, people from the outside kind of look at those as easy games, and you said that they're far from it. What did you see? I, I know you watched the Sabre Bruin game and the Devil game, obviously, you played. What did you see out of those two teams that make it so tough at, at this point in the season to play against them? Well, I know they may not have a lot of name recognition players in their lineups, but they still got good players that are competing. And, you know, I've always said our sport is the most effort-driven sport. I mean, you've got to have maximum effort in every sport, but because our game's played in such a small area, I mean, effort can overcome a lot of things. And if there's a slightest drop in effort from one team and the other team continues to have an uptick with effort, boy, that can really overcome a lot in our game. And, you know... The Devils play hard. They play fast. They've got good players in their lineup, even though they may, may be young ones and not experienced, but they still got good players, as does Buffalo. And I know they don't have a lot of proven players that people recognize, and, uh, but they still are. <laughs> it's still a challenge for whoever plays these two teams, and it's going to be a big challenge for us tonight. Next question comes from Colin Stevenson. Colin, go ahead. Dave, uh, I just wanted to get your impressions on, on, on your first workout with uh, with Zach Jones on the ice as, as part of the team, and also, my, I would be remiss if not to ask you whether he might be in the lineup tonight. Um, but you know, on top of that, you know, what 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 are the challenges of bringing in a guy at this stage with 14 games to go, and you know. Yeah, like I said, it's hard, Colin, because you, you don't have all these practices to kind of evaluate him, and you want to put him in a situation where he's going to have success. Obviously, these games are very meaningful for us. We're in a playoff battle. Uh, but, you know, you've got a guy who can really skate. He's got a great hockey IQ, um, just competes. There's a lot to love about him. That's why we like him in our organization. But, you know, this is the National Hockey League, and you don't just take someone and drop him in the lineup. They've got to earn it, and they've, they've got to give you reason to put him in. And, you know... We're just going to watch him, and if it seems to be the right move and gives us, he gives us a chance to win hockey games, he'll go in. We certainly won't hesitate from putting him in there if we think he can help us win. Kyle, you have a follow-up? Um, so to confirm, he's not in tonight then. Um, and then who's your goalie? Shesty is our goalie. And we have one more in queue, Dan Rosen. Dan, go ahead. Yeah, just another one of those maintenance questions. Uh, well, not maintenance, because that's been Aaron. Um, but just any other lineup changes that you have tonight from, from the previous game? Yeah, no, it'll be the same lineup.